Trapped. That's just what you don't need at school. Seven kids on a mission to escape the snowstorm of 2011. Seven kids, one room, one snowstorm. Can they escape? Hi, I'm Scotty. This is Pete. That's Jason. This is Krista. That's Julie. That's Les and Elijah. You may think we were just seven kids stuck in school learning. But we're not just seven kids stuck in school learning. We are seven kids stuck in Tatawa High School in a snowstorm. The buses have picked up all the rest of the kids already, and most of the teachers have left. Because of the snowstorm, we were called off school while we were there. We were waiting for our parents to, get, to pick us up. Then the storm hit us. It's been snowing nonstop all day long. The snow is high and it's past the door. No one can get to us. We are out in the middle of nowhere and no one can get us out. I guess this means that my basketball game is canceled for tonight. Jason's dad was going to pick up Jason, Scotty, and I, but guess who never came? He probably got stuck in the snow. No one can get through this snow. We already lost Mr. McGossel to it. Mr. McGossel was the only teacher left in the school. A car stopped in the school parking lot, and Mr. McGossel went to go check it out and never came back. Well, at least we found food by breaking into the cafeteria. And we can't get water from the sinks. With the food and water we have so far, we can probably last a week or more. But the electricity is running out fast. We haven't been able to get any cell phone reception for a long time now, and once the electricity goes out, we will be without power to run the heat. We found blankets in a radio in the nurse's office. We can at least stay in touch with the outside world that way. How long is that going to last? Yeah. How long is it going to stay warm in here? I guess we'll find out. At least we have the food and water for from the cafeteria and the blankets and radio from the nurse's office. The radio is the only only telling us how much deeper the snow has gotten than before. <laughs> and it's not really giving us any news that we can use to help us anyway. It mostly just gets music. Be quiet, you! Right now, temperatures are dropping and temperatures are rising. Now, Les is a pretty big guy. I'm actually scared of him, so I'm not going to say a word. The best thing to do now is stay in the same room. Why do we all have to stay in the same room? Yeah, what's that going to do? If we all stay in the same room, we'll know where everyone is and we will keep the room warmer. Do you think the snow is going to get high and we're going to have a second to go to the second floor because the lights may turn off? I don't know. The lights may go off and maybe they won't. It depends if it gets hard to see down here. <laughs> Good thing too. It's a story built. It's a two-story building, so we can go up if we have to. Thank you for stating the obvious. Hey, hey. <laughs> Guys, stop. That's just what we don't want. We have enough trouble here already without fighting between each other. I thought you guys were friends. We are. We just get mad once in a while. Why would you fight now? This may be the last time we all we all will spend together. I know. Make it last. Bye, bye, bye.